coming right up. The Bucks taking on the 76ers. For the Bucks, they've battled through the first half of the season. Seventh place in the East. Can they take it even higher? Sixers, Bucks, the tip off coming right after this. Welcome, sports fans. Thanks for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan, our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. A chance now to check out how the All-Star voting is shaping up. And I tell you, the excitement starting to ratchet up a little bit as the tallies start coming in. You take a look at Beal. He's not too far away from a spot in the starting five. A lot of votes have been coming his way. And even if he doesn't get the fan votes he needs to become a starter, you have to believe he'll be a part of the Eastern Conference All-Star team. And keep tuning in for updated results. You can visit NBA.com for more. Now, the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. We've got Bridges. He's out there with Jalen Brown. And it's Claxton in at the five down low. And for the 76ers, Robert Covington out there with Steven Adams. Then there's Bradley Beal. Then there's Lowry. And it's Ingram in at the three spot. Greg, how hard is it to maintain focus this time of year when you know you're on a championship contending team? You know, some of that, I think, depends on the leadership you have in your locker room. Uh, certain guys just keep everybody engaged and motivated. And, and you know what? You've got to break the season down in, into chapters to help yourself with the motivation because sometimes that season can be so long and it's hard to stay focused in the present when you start thinking about the postseason. I agree. Now, Bridges, after Brandon Ingram missing on that last three-pointer, Pass to Dort. Fox with it. Lowry picks him up. Here's Bridges. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Just getting more and more court awareness and where guys are at all times is De'Aaron Fox. Beal taking his time here. Down low. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, I briefly spoke with Mike Budenholzer. He told me it's always a challenge when you face a team this opportunistic. He said those guys are going to look to take advantage of any weakness. We have to really communicate defensively tonight. Guys, back to you. Great update, David. Thanks. It'll be fascinating, Greg, to watch them try to slow down these shooters. No question. That's the focus defensively. But then, on the offensive end, they have to get production of their own. Yeah, spot on. It's going to take an all-around effort to pull out the victory here tonight. And Jason Tatum, he got a lot of the pub last year, and deservedly so. But Jalen Brown made monstrous strides as well, especially when it came to efficiency. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Following the three by Milwaukee, here's Lowry. Got a hand on it. And Fox with a clear path to the basket. And it's Fox with the jam. So good and so dangerous is De'Aaron Fox out in transition. And you look at Brown's field goal percentage and his free throw percentage, Greg, both career highs last season. And Kev, his shot was never broken. The motion never had to be rebuilt. Brown's problem coming into the league was that he would shoot the ball differently every time. Once he landed on the repeatable mechanics, you could see the consistency start to take form. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Bridges and Adams sends it back. Well, he can be intimidating. Steven Adams, such a big frame down there and great timing on that block. Covington with a steal. And oh, here we go. Lowry's got the fast break chance. Oh, and the dunk by Beal. Just great anticipation and awareness to come up with the steal and then trigger the fast break. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Milwaukee in the lead. Right side, Fox. 
pass to Brown. Good and a nice assist from Fox. And you got to respect how accomplished Brown is down low, destroying whoever is in his way. Here's Beal. Here's Adams. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Now that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active and be ready as soon as the shot goes up. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And this is the first season matchup for them against this 76ers team. And swap here for Milwaukee. You can just chalk up the points when these guys get to the line. Here are your top free throw shooters for the past month. Number one, Brandon Ingram. Kyle Lowry is second. They have both been unconscious from the free throw line. I mean, you could put a blindfold on them and it wouldn't matter. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. And you got to love the effort. I mean, he battles just as hard on the inside as he does on the perimeter. Here's Ingram. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. And then Ingram gets so much better when he gets that aggressive. Now here's Hayes. 11 points last game. And Hayes throws it down. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, why well, settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that? And it's the 76ers with the ball, following the bucket by the Bucks. Shot clock at five. Shoots. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. The Bucks trail. Over to the wing. Here's Bull. Back to Hayes. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Milwaukee shooting their first free throws tonight. The first trip to the stripe in this one. And team stats last season, 74% shooting. So some numbers that they can definitely improve upon. Hayes hits them both. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Axie passes to Ingram. And the shot is good. Ingram's got seven. Now that basket must be widening out right now, and he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. To the middle. The pass to Vanderbilt. Bucks passing it around, and the dunk by Bowl. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. It's stolen by Curry. Count the basket. Curry's got his second bucket of the game to go. Well, that's why they're in front. Aggressive play at both ends. Nicely done. Now here's Hayes. He's covered by Ingram. Offensive rebound. Not a piece of it. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. When you add the length to the skill set that Brandon Ingram brings to every game, you really have a tough matchup for any opponent. The 76ers have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Ingram. Old free throws, good for Ingram. Bucks trail by five. Passes to Vanderbilt. There's the three. They get it again. Brown makes it off the glass. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Here's Mann. Brandon Ingram. He's been the guy making things happen for the Philadelphia 76ers. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. Back to the action after this word. And 
We hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far in the scoreboard. And what stands out to you guys from the 76ers in this one? Uh, well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. Well, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that quarter. On the court for Milwaukee here in the second, they've got Bowles. Troy Brown is out there with Hayes, and it's Herter in at the two-guard spot. Pass to Herter. Here's Hayes. Trills the three-pointer. Hayes has got seven points in the game. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitors. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Taken away by Hayes. It's three-on-three three on the fast break. Pass to Herter. Here's Bowl, covered by Okafor. Rondo with the steal. Fast break, Philadelphia. And it's Okafor missing. Bucks trail by three. And we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Vanderbilt the pass to Herter. And another three for Milwaukee. I'm sure you've got a list, Greg, of players you've visited with over the years who you really enjoy spending some time with and talking to. I mean, there are so many, Kevin. Uh, a couple guys, and uh, there is a little bias as a point guard, but Damian Lillard and Steph Curry and Chris Paul are three guys that, you know, I enjoy sitting down and talking shop with. Uh, Giannis, you know, witnessing his journey to greatness all the while. He remains humble and really appreciates his position. So several of these guys, uh, I'm also not just an analyst partner, but a fan and a big fan of theirs. You are a fan indeed. And then Brown with the dunk. And when you let Brown get close to the hoop, you face the consequences. Just a tremendous athlete with unreal dunking ability. Now here's Beal. He had 25 points in the win against Houston. Felt like he had a sense in that game that the defense was being over-aggressive, and he tried to take advantage of that. He continually frustrated them throughout the night and got to the free throw line. Here's Fox. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. And it's Fox with the jam. How about Fox just getting to the rim right there? Great to see him explode at times. The 76ers trailing. And Aaron Fox, one of those hyper-athletic point guards, but still more slight of build than a Westbrook or in their primes, John Wall, Derrick Rose. Do you think he needs to get stronger? Well, I think that's a great question, and you could take it two ways. Yes, physically, and yes, mentally. And he's getting a ton of minutes in the early part of his career, and De'Aaron Fox is learning how to be a better leader. So the answer, does he need to get stronger? He is. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Hey guys, if you can believe it, before Jalen Brown went to the draft, one executive said the Cal Berkeley star was too smart. Brown says, when athletes are also informative, it can intimidate. We get pushback for our outside interests. The whole shut up and dribble movement is big, and I'm a part of that movement. Guys? Strong story, D.A. there. Thanks. Here's Brown. Brandon Ingram picking up that last bucket. And just awesome speed from Brown. Blasting off towards the bucket and slamming it down. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out. Defensive end. Yeah, never stopped working. One of those games where just everybody was making shots, continual flow, and a very professional win. Adams, he's checked in for the 76ers. Seth Curry comes in for Brandon Ingram. Well, it's one thing to play good defense, but then to alter the shot and get the rebound, that's a good day's work. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And De'Aaron Fox has staked his claim. Said baseline to baseline with the ball in my hands, I'm the fastest player in the league. He very well might be. I mean, he is a terror in the open floor, and that speed burst just puts so much pressure on any retreating defense. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Now, even De'Aaron Fox has talked about how he's the fastest player in the league. The cool thing about it is night after night, he seems to prove it. Now here's Adams. He had 10 points in the win against the Rockets in Houston. 
Yeah, but there's always this point you got to look at where did he also impact the game? It was on the rebounding end of the floor. A tremendous performance there. Here's Fox. Steven Adams making his last shot. On the wing, Brown. He's covered by Beal. And Adams has got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. They'll host the Denver Nuggets after this one. And that will be the middle game of this three-game homestand. Here's Fox. Buries the jumper to finish the break. Fox has got six here in this quarter. Boy, have they gotten hot here in the second quarter. No wonder they're in front. Adams finds Curry. 129 left in the second quarter. The shot. Rebound, Milwaukee. Brown's got four rebounds now tonight. There's the pass to Fox. Down to five on the shot clock. That shot off. Great D that time from Beal. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Here's Adams. And the jumper from down low is good. Adams has got his third basket of the night. Great effort from Adams there. We know he has that size to take the contact, but determined on that play to get the points. Passes it to Brown. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now here's Curry. He's coming off a 10-point game against Houston. Another three for Philadelphia. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line, and I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. And the Bucks with some changes. He's with it. He's picked up by Rondo. The Bucks working the ball around. And the dunk by Brown. Shooters tend to be hungry, but this time Herder finds an open teammate. Right side, Rondo. Pass to Adams. Three-pointer. Offensive rebound. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Bucks lead by two. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. Thanks very much. Bradley, good flow and good pace in the first half. Exactly the guys you want to play. What's going right? Uh, just open looks and uh, being aggressive. And, uh, I mean, we, we were able to get to the basket a few times. The guys are knocking down open shots when we, when we had the opportunity to. I mean, I mean, the shots are actually falling tonight, so that's all it is. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. A competitive matchup for Milwaukee in the first quarter. The largest lead they had was six in the opening period. They had a solid second quarter to go from a deficit at the end of the first to a two-point lead at the half. And Kenny, what did you think about what we saw from Milwaukee? Well, one area where they have had the upper hand is scoring off the bench. When the second unit guys have come in, they brought a lot of energy with them. And that's what you need from your reserves. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Brandon Ingram with a strong contribution so far in this one. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. 
We've got Brandon Ingram, Ari out there with Bradley Beal. And then there's Steven Adams, and it's Covington in at the four slot. That's the five to begin the second half for Doc Rivers. Bridges passes to Fox. Tries again. Bridges misses. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the and one, and this time they're not backing off. Here's Beal. Covington. And Covington stays with it. Covington's got the game tied up here for Philadelphia. Well, a missed box out and an easy tip in, but it's because of the activity as the ball is going up, finding yourself in the right spot, just using some effort. Pass to Brown. Fox against Lowry. And Fox gets it to go. Fox has got 12 points in the game. D has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. For three, Ingram. No good on the shot. Some solid defense from Brown. The third quarter has not started well. Just one of four. And Fox gets it to go. And De'Aaron Fox having one of those nights where he's feeling it. The 76ers trail by four. Outside, Beal. Inside, here's Covington. Good, it's Beal picking up the assist. Covington's got four this quarter. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Dort passes to Claxton. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Claxton's got his second basket of the night. Timeout called the 76ers. We know how important the draft is, Greg. It can, it can shape an organization. Talk about some of the best draft day deals of the last couple decades. There have been a lot of them. Oh, there have been a few. I mean, just coming to mind here recently, how about when Kawhi was traded to the Spurs? That was a, yes. a huge get. Go back George to how Hill. about Kobe going to the Lakers? Uh, Mikhail and Parrish coming to the Celtics. I mean, we've seen that happen quite a bit. And, and I tell you what, boy, it, it can really transform a franchise's future. like to see that as Ingram hits a shot from the mid-range. It's going to open some things up. Outside, Fox. Over in the corner, Brown. Claxton with the bucket. Six points for him. And the skills of Brown. Not just a super athlete, but a tremendous floor general as well. Ingram finds Adams. Here's Maxie. Back to Adams. Over Claxton. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Well, he's such a big guy, Adams, but he does move quite well, and that helps his ability to get to the free throw line. And he makes the first, but misses the second. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Back to Brown. Now the pass to Fox. Well, that mid-range J usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. Passes it to Ingram. Over Bull. Another miss by Philadelphia. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. Knows he missed an easy one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Tyrese Maxey. That is his first foul of the game. And the 76ers with some changes. Mann's checked in. And it's Seth Curry in for Bradley Beal. Brown is checked in for the Bucks. Hayes comes in for De'Aaron Fox. And Hayes kicks to Brown. Lock at six. Releases. Milwaukee. No good that time either. And Adams has got the ball here for Philadelphia. Ingram attacking. That one doesn't drop. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. And Herter gets it to go. Known for being a scorer, Herter is good at staying active and then looking to capitalize inside. Curry on the wing. Seven points in the game. Drains it from 17 feet out. Curry's got nine points. 
you can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. And there's the call on Curry. That'll be his second foul of the game. Ajan Rondo's checked in for Maxi, And Milwaukee also making a switch. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Bull. Hayes, no good. That might not be the shot they want him taking, even with the D backing off. Out to the right wing. Man can hit. Bucks leading by three. Brown feeling it out a bit. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Pass to Herter. Puts up a three. Knocks down the three ball. Herter's got the lead up to six now for Milwaukee. Shot preparation is fantastic as Herter's able to get his feet set that time. Curry outside. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitiveness. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. And that one drops for him. Herter's got seven points for the quarter. A Herter also comfortable getting physical and scoring against the defense, not just showing that he shoots it. Curry on the wing. Shoots. And good. He got the English that time as it falls. 14 points for him. Bucks have gone 7 of 12 from the floor since coming out of the break. Here's Herter, guarded by Kerr. 11 seconds left in the third. Just four to shoot. Here's Hayes. No good from outside. And the game still closely contested as we end the third quarter. Bucks ahead. They lead by three. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with his feet. They had no chance to prevent that basket. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Setting the floor for the Bucks. We've got Hayes, and it's Dort in at the shooting guard position. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Kyle Lowry picks one up there. The first free throw is good. Hayes hits them both. The 76ers trail by five. And slam dunk by Ingram. Yeah, right now, Brandon Ingram is just taking command of the entire game. Milwaukee's gone to three-point range seven times tonight, knocked down five of them. Hayes finds Bridges. And it's slammed in by Bridges. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. To the right side. Right side, Lowry shoots, and he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Lowry's got his first basket. And he is an elite-level decision-maker. Lowry understands when to pass out of that pick-and-roll and when to shoot. Here's Hayes. Softly drops in the floater. And the Bucks lead by five. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater, boy, those sure are pretty. Kicks it to Ingram. The tray. 
The shot missing. And Milwaukee will come the other way. Yeah, the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. Robert Covington's checked in for the 76ers. Bradley Beal comes in for Rajon Rondo. Milwaukee also making some changes. Brown is checked in for Kevin Herter. And De'Aaron Fox subbed in for Hayes. The 76ers trail by five. Here's Beal. That's good, and it's Ingram with the assist. And that's how smart Beal is. Knows how to angle his body through the contact and not let it affect the finish. Brown against Ingram. And Adams sends it back. And oh, here we go. Covington's got it. The fast break chance. Count it good. Lowry's got four points in the quarter. Love the patience from Covington. Uh, lets the situation develop and then delivers a perfect strike. Fox kicks to Brown. Back to Fox. Over Lowry. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Kyle Lowry picks one up there. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Free throw good. Fox and Philadelphia making a change here. Maxi's checked in. Fox hits them both. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. It's Ingram on the wing. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Beal. Six to shoot. And that one, good. Just no resistance inside at all. They are feasting. This is a straight buffet. It is. It's a big one. And load the plate. Timeout called. The Bucks. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I was able to listen to what Mike Bodenholzer told his team during that timeout. He told him, hey, this game is there for you, but we got to go get it. 50-50 balls getting to the basket. We have to give it all right now. Kevin? Thank you, David. Here's Dort, and Adams sends it back. Round against Beal. To the inside. And there's the pass to Maxi. To take the lead. That's tipped. And the impact Bridges makes on the defensive end, showing he's not to be messed with. The 76ers have gone 5 of 7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. And quite simply, Beal is an all-NBA player in our league, a multi-dimensional guard who does many things well, especially scoring the ball. With the floater, and Fox gets it to go. And the Bucks lead by one. De'Aaron Fox stepping up big time. Timeout. And now, a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game. De'Aaron Fox. And to me, the best part of his game has been the work he's done inside. I mean, slashing, driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had an opening, he's taken it. Kevin Herter, he's checked in for the Bucks. Outside, Beal. Connects on the foul line jumper. Not shying away from the spotlight. Beal wanting to be the guy to come up big for his team. Timeout called. The Bucks. One fifty-six left in the fourth quarter of this one. Brown the pass to Bridges. The shot's good. Brown making the play. There's a fearlessness that Bridges brings 
to this team. He just welcomes the chance to take important shots. Here's Beal. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Good on the first, and that narrows the gap to one. And both free throws good for Beal. And you just knew he wasn't going to miss that one. Not with so much riding on. Brown feeling it out a bit. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And with Brown, it doesn't matter what point in the game it's at. He's ready to shoot whenever and wherever he has the ball in a good spot. Ingram outside. Launches a three. Good on the triple. And the 76ers lead by one. He's a guy that lives for a big moment like that. Great focus and courage in the clutch. Brown inside. He's covered by Ingram. And so it's Covington who brings up the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. Here's Beal. Tight defense on him. Money! Whoa, the nerves on this guy. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up enough. On offense, here are the Bucks. 43 seconds left to play in the final quarter. He hits Brown with the drive. Here's Claxton. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. That's a testament to the effort there on the boards. Never willing to give up on the possession. Finding ways to sniff out the ball. Kyle Lowry, he's checked in for the 76ers. Yeah, big play on the front end to finish despite getting hacked there and big on the back end to hit the free throw. And Adams now top of the key. It's Ingram on the wing. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. This is why you love Brandon Ingram. Huge free throws. Bumps the lead up to three, and now they simply have to guard against the three ball. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. They're down by three. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a foul. Don't force something up. you got to be smart here. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Just a tiny lead for him. And a chance to make it a little bigger right here. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a five-point game. Yeah, that'll ice it right there. Not everybody can keep their composure at the line in such a big situation. The wide-open look here for Fox. A three-pointer off the mark. And so they choose to intentionally foul. He drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And so both free throws are good. And it's a seven-point game. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And he ends up making the second, and that trims the lead to six. So the 76ers win it. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the overall trust this group has in one another when it matters most. Doing what had to be done and to send these fans home happy. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Jalil, here at home with a competitive matchup. What got you guys over the top tonight? 
uh, to stand together as a team, playing as hard as we could. Uh, the fans were great, and we wanted to play good for them. And you surely did, Jalil. Thanks a lot for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. So long and good night, everyone.